I wasn't lying when I say about the next review would be zero G to the review. Here we got something that I originally wanted to do doing a 200th video, but couldn't get it on time. And I had other things out of my life to do, but finally, the 200th video that was supposed to happen. We're going nostalgic, guys. Zero G unboxing. Back in the day, I unboxed Zero G stuff, Metal Fight stuff. This is all my hard work comes to do. It is Gladiator Bahamdia Baham uh, Spike 230 Giga Flat. This is a long time coming when it comes to one of my videos I wanted to do. So here it is, finally in my hands. Let's go with the, we all know what the gimmicks are because this is outdated, but this is fine. Actually, one of the weirder things is, but I'll show you it later. So we got Spike 230, which is supposed to prevent the stadium outs, apparently. Giga flat is supposed to be the extreme wide flat of the whole entire attack type, but balance apparently. It's weird. This is a dog type, but counts as a god type apparently. Here's Kira right there. Here's the gladiator symbol. Yeah. It's been a long time I unboxed one of these Zero G for the Metal Fight Saga ones. So. Here we got the face board, Baham, Bahamdia, or Bahamut. Here we got Bahamdia, again, for the metal one. We got the Gladiator. Spike 230. And we got Giga Flat. Customizations. What are you going to do with this one? It's supposed to be an attack type. Hmm. With this type, you can't even tell which one it is. It's all Japanese. It's... I, obviously, I can't read Japan, but if I had a translator, that would be fine. But the Ocho, this is when Ge Samurai Pegasus came about. So this is Golem and something, Pegasus, I believe. The Spike 230 and the... Or to F. There we got the Zero G system, like we all remember. I don't know why they couldn't use the crystal up mode and mode with this. It is so much balance when it comes down to that. So that's all the boxing. I keep. I always keep my boxes. So let's go unbox this Beyblade. Uh, this is a long time coming, guys. So, so I had to repeat that. Before I went on a very, very long hiatus for some unknown reason, I wanted to do a Gladiator Bahamu video. Until today. Here we got the stickers. We got the two Facebook stickers. I remember those. Wow, this is so nostalgic. We got the Spike 230 and we got the Giga Flat. And instructions, we get the rip cord. Obviously, we got the launcher. We get the layer. I keep these insides too, so just to keep them in check too. So, here we go, let's unbox this. Take the launcher out too. Oh, the thing fell out. All right. It's been a while. Come on. You set the box on right there just for a 
peel. It's been a while I got a Zero G lip cord. That is nostalgic. And it's a little bit squeaky. Wow, this is so nostalgic. This is this is hitting me big time. All right, let's get on to the baseball, which is purple or oh, stone face. Purple. Now this, we got the Bahamut, Bahamdia wheel or Bahamut. Looks pretty stylish. It's where the stickers are on the bay. We got the Gladiator wheel, which is purple. Y'all love the purple. Spike 230. And we got Giga Flat. All right, by comparison, I have oh, Gladiator Bahamut Hasbro version. Yep, I've been using this one before I had to save up money for the this when it comes down to 2021. So, what do we do now? Let's get the stickers. All right, let's get the stickers out. Here's the instructions. I put them to the side. Hmm. Oh, let me launch a Beyblade. Let's use Glide, I mean Cyclone Ragnarok for the, a timer basically for the stickering the Beyblade. Let's go ahead and do that, so here we go. So I put the ASMR version of Beyblade, so that's pretty much what you need to hear. It's been a, so long that I ever, 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 I'll use this box for reference for when it comes down to it. Obviously, I've been using the Hasbro one for the longest time, but never done a video on the Takotomi version of Gladiator Bahamdia. Now its time has finally come to unleash its power on the Earth. This is weird. I found this inside the wheel for some reason. I don't know why, but it's there. Now it's removed. So it ran out of time. So let me restart the bay. Set it up until the stickering is done. Let's try a different one. How about glide? This time we'll use glide for a timer. Supposedly, the glide is supposed to last long too, so that's why the long timer should be applied. It 
the glide lag rock is supposed to fall. I'm gonna put on a different timer for that. So. Alright, let's try it fast new or basically one of the basic ones that I would like to put on. Let's fast new. Let's go with the Geist version. Because for one of my reviews, I always stick her up while the camera still rolls. Just to see the applications on the base to make it work and happen. Which I'm doing right now. Alright, toss it aside, let's put this bay together before the timer runs out. Alright, we'll put the face bolt where the face is supposed to. It's been a while and a long time I put it up a fake baby to have a baseball like design I don't want to tighten up any further so there all right here we go gladiator Bahamdia all complete look at that this is a Beyblade that I've been waiting for this entire channel to have since that long hiatus. This is my ZOG Stadium. I know it doesn't have the proper versions of it. What I mean by proper mean I meant doesn't have the top. So let's go. Oh yeah, ZOG, here we go. Here we go. Let's try one opponent. It's other predecessor. Let's try Behemoth or Behemoth. So here we go. That was quick. But nah, that wasn't fair. Let's try Sal Salamander. jumped wow it jumped all right that's the video gladiator bahamdia 200th supposed video all done and configured that was a long time coming so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time see ya